hello everyone so now we'll learn about the embryo culture and if you like the video don't forget to click on subscribe button below and also share the video now coming to the embryo culture what is embryo culture exactly what what is its definition so embryo culture is nothing but it deals with the sterile isolation and in vitro growth of a mature or an immature embryo with an ultimate objective of obtaining a viable plant so uh, embryo culture deals where a sterile isolation is done and in vitro growth of a embryo which is mature or immature and it will result into the formation of a viable plant so embryo culture refers to the sexually produced zygotic embryo culture now it is different from the stomatic embryogenesis uh, we'll learn in detail that how it is different from the stomatic embryogenesis there are two different types of embryo culture like uh, the stomatic embryogenesis there is direct embryogenesis and indirect embryogenesis if you want to learn about the stomatic embryogenesis i have already uploaded the video on that so you can learn and uh, the two types of embryo culture are mature and immature embryos now coming to the mature embryo culture now mature embryos are isolated from the ripe seeds and they are cultured in vitro conditions so when the embryos remain dormant for long periods there is low survival of embryos in vivo so uh, this helps to avoid the inhibition in seed for germination and it also helps in com converting the sterile seeds to the viable seedlings so this is the mature embryo culture where the embryos are isolated from the ripe seeds and this is done basically in vitro conditions and then the embryos remain dormant for a long period of time because of the fact that uh, the low survival of embryos takes place in in vivo conditions and it helps to avoid the inhibition and in seed for for germination and then it also helps to convert the sterile seeds to viable seedlings the seed dormancy in plant species is the common factor it is the common occurrence which is seen in the embryo culture and the chemical inhibitors or the mechanical resistance is exerted by the structure covering the embryo embryos the seed dormancy is successfully bypassed by the culturing of the embryos in in vitro conditions and the embryo culture is relatively easy as they can be grown on a simple inorganic medium which is supplemented with the energy source now there are different energy source like sucrose is used or a different energy source can be used mature embryos is excised from the developing seeds and are autotrophic in nature so this is the basic about the embryo culture now coming to the embryo rescue embryo rescue what it does is it involves the culture of immature embryos to rescue them from unripe or hybrid seeds and they fail to germinate so it what it does is it helps to avoid the embryo abortion and also it produces a viable plant now wild hybridization involves the crossing of two different species of plant from the same genus or from the different genera which often results into failure normal development of zygote and seed is hindered due to the genetic barriers and the hybrid endosperm fails to develop leading to the abortion of the hybrid embryo so the endosperm produces the toxins and it kills the embryos ultimately endosperm develops first and then it supports the embryo development nutritionally now the majority majority of the embryo abortions are due to the failure in the endosperm development and the embryo abortion can be avoided by isolating and culturing the hybrid embryos prior to the abortion the most important application of embryo rescue is the production of interspecific and intergeneric hybrids from wild plant species now the culture technique for embryo rescue first what is done that the isolation of immature embryos often possesses some difficulties 
and the aseptically isolated embryos can be grown in a suitable medium under optimal conditions that the environmental conditions are maintained and the complex nutrient medium is required for the culture methods involving the embryo rescue. Now for adequate support of nutrients of immature embryos, the embryo endosperm transplant is used. Now this is the embryo endosperm transplant. How it is done? First the endosperm with failed development or the hybrid embryo is taken out, ovule with hybrid embryo. This hybrid embryo is taken and the ovule with normal embryo is taken. So it is the combination of the ovule with hybrid embryo and the normal embryo. So normal endosperm development and the normal embryo is seen in the normal embryo. So ovule with normal embryo. So first the hybrid embryo and the other with the uh, normal embryo. So normal endosperm is taken from the normal embryo and the hybrid embryo is taken with the ovule with the hybrid embryo. So crossing is done and then the embryo endosperm transplant is done. So in, from the figure you can get that how the embryo endosperm transplant is done. Now embryo endosperm transplant, a hybrid embryo from ovule in which the endosperm development has, faced, is, has failed is taken out by the excision and another normally developed ovule with endosperm enclosing an embryo is chosen. So ovule is dissected and normal embryo is pressed out. Now it leaves a normal endosperm with an exit hole and the hybrid embryo can be inserted into the normal endosperm through the exit hole. Now this results in the embryo endosperm transplant which can be cultured in the suitable medium and then by using the high embryo endosperm transplant many interspecific and intergeneric plants have been raised. Now examples such as the hybrid plants of legumes. So from, already from the figure I have explained that how the embryo endosperm transplant is done. This is a bit detailed of that explanation. Now the nutrient require, requirements is essential for the embryo culture. Now there are two phases in the embryo development and the nutritional requirement varies according to that. Now first phase is the heterotropic phase and the other is the autotropic phase. Heterotropic phase is, is nothing but the early phase and the embryo is mostly dependent on the endosperm and maternal tissues for the nutrient supply. And the autotropic phase is the phase which is characterized by the metabolic capability of the embryo to synthesize substance required for the growth which slowly makes it independent. Now the composition of the medium for culturing immature embryos is more complex than that required by the mature embryo which can grow on a simple inorganic medium. So the transfer of embryos from one medium to another is frequently needed to achieve the development of embryos. So nutrient requirements, they are very essential. Now composition of the medium, that is the another factor that is essential for the embryo culture. The inorganic constituents of MS or uh, white media or B5 media are adequate and sucrose is mostly, mostly used as the energy source as I said before. Then the ammonium nitrate used as a source of nitrogen. Cesium hydrolysate, which is rich in various amino acids, is also used commonly. And the natural plant extracts with embryo factor promote the embryo culture, like the one in liquid endosperm of the coconut milk is the example. Now this is about the composition of medium. The other composition of the medium required are the embryo factor is believed to supply certain amino acids, sugars and growth regulator. The growth regulators are generally not, they are mostly not required as they induce callus formation. And the embryo go, grow well at the pH of 5 to 7.5. So the incubation temperature that is required is 24 to 26 degrees Celsius. And the better growth of embryos is observed in darkness, which are then transferred to the light for germination. Now, during the culture conditions, embryo grow on plantlet and then they are transferred to the soil for full-fledged growth of the mat to maturity. There are certain applications of embryo culture. The first one is the prevention of embryo abortion. 
Now the incompatibility barriers in interspecific and intergeneric hybridization programs leading to the embryo abortion can successfully overcome by the embryo rescue. Many distinct hybrids have been obtained through the embryo rescue technique. So the prevention of embryo abortion, that is the first application of the embryo culture. The second one is the overcoming of the seed dormancy. Seed, seed dormancy is caused by the several factors like the endogenous inhibitors, embryo immaturity, specific light and temperature requirements, dry storage requirements. And in some plants, the nature of the period of seed dorm dormancy itself is too long. So the embryo culture is successfully applied to overcome the seed dormancy and to produce viable seedlings in the plant species. The third is the shortening of the breeding cycle. Now, some of the plants in their natural state uh, have long breeding cycles and it is mostly due to the seed dormancy which is attributed to seed coat or endosperm and the embryos can be excised and cultured in in vitro condition to develop into plants within a short period. So, uh, like uh, Holy's uh, Christmas decoration plant can be grown in two to three weeks time through embryo culture and uh, in real like if through natural process it takes around three years to come from the uh, this decorator do, decoration plant and uh, which is required through the seed germination so it takes less less time uh, the four, other one is the production of haploids the embryo culture has been successfully used for the production of haploid or monoploid plants like example barley and then the overcoming seed sterility it is also the application of the embryo culture where certain plant species produce sterile seeds that do not germinate example the early ripening varieties of cherry apricot and plum so seed sterility is mostly associated with the incomplete embryo development and it leads to the death of the germinating embryo so embryo culture, if it is used, it helps to raise the seedlings from the sterile seeds of early ripening fruits of uh, apricot and plum. plum. Then the other factor for application of the embryo culture is the clonal propagation. Embryos are, ide uh, ideal, embryos are ideally suited for the in vitro clonal propagation. And it is due to the fact because of the nature and they have the high regenerative potential. So it is possible to induce the organogenesis and stomatic embryogenesis from embryonic tissues. So these are the applications of the embryonic culture. So the embryo culture, we have uh, finished with this topic and I hope that you liked the video. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button below. Thank you for watching.